I read Avatar The Last Airbender in Balance. Now, I just read the first book in the series, but it's a full three-part series that takes place after the events of Avatar The Last Airbender, the TV show, which is currently trending on Netflix, and as a huge fan, I do recommend the TV show as well. But it takes place before the events of The Legend of Korra, which is the follow-up series that Nickelodeon also produced. Now, as a continuation of the series, it succeeds. The art style feels the same, the content feels similar, the characters feel the same, and it almost just feels like I'm watching more Avatar The Last Airbender. But what's interesting is you also are starting to see foreshadowing for some things that go on in The Legend of Korra. Imbalance takes place in a place called Crane Town. Now, Crane Town is a factory town. It's a boom town that's basically rising up way faster than they can manage. There isn't really any government yet. And we're seeing a conflict between benders, people who manipulate elements, and non-benders, everyday folk like you and I. And basically non-benders aren't feeling heard and they kind of are feeling that benders just are kind of pushing them out of the way. And if you look at Crane Town and you look at the skyline and you look at the setting, you'll recognize it as Republic City from The Legend of Korra. So this is that town, this is that city that Avatar Aang founded. These are the conflicts that he had to deal with to create the setting for The Legend of Korra. Highly recommended if you're a fan of the series. Highly recommended just as a good show and a good graphic novel. But as always, I do want to hear what you're reading, and I do appreciate hearing back from you. Thank you.